It's Down to Business with Jack Miller. Forget what they teach you in school. This is real life, not Wall Street, but Main Street. A real show on what's really involved with starting and running a business with all the ups and downs. Our guests will answer your questions and provide you with valuable information. Stay tuned and join in the conversation. When the earth was created, hey, this is Jack Miller. Thanks for joining me today on Thursday. I hope everyone is having a bad word of the day. And the bad word of today is reality. And what I mean by reality is, of course, we all need to be realists in life. But we can, and we can't have our heads up in the clouds or stuck up some body orifices. But at the same time, I hear all over and over again, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. It can't be done and this and that. And I keep thinking, I wonder, you know, what everyone told Steve Jobs and Gates and Einstein and Edison that their ideas wouldn't work, too. So sometimes you folks need to be a little unrealistic in your expectations. And at go for things if you believe in something. Again, you have to know the downside. You have to know the upside. But don't be so much a realist. Have your head up in the clouds. Don't let people tell you you can't do things. And do things that you think are going to work. Because too often I hear, oh, I can't do this. Oh, I can't do that. And most of the time you can. Uh, I was watching actually this week uh, The Voice. I don't know if everyone likes The Voice. I happen to love The Voice and America's Got Talent and all those shows. And I was thinking the reason I like it. Oh, by the way, someone just put on the air conditioning here. So actually someone's listening to me. I'm excited. Wanda, thank you very much. You made my day. Um, But anyway, uh, I was watching those shows, and it dawned on me. The reason I like them is because most of the people there are okay. They're, They're a lot better than me. But every once in a while, every one in ten or one in five, you have someone who is so super talented, it just blows everyone away. And it's just an amazing moment. I get chills. And to be honest with you, I cry sometimes when it happens. My wife makes fun of me. But it's the truth. And it dawned on me that every single one of us have some sort of innate God-given talent. And it's really up to us to use that talent. If you can play the violin or if you could... I don't know, whatever, play the piano or sing or do something with computers or you're in sales. If God gave you a talent, it's up to you to use that talent. And if you waste that talent, you're doing the world a dissatisfaction. And I know sometimes it's hard to use all your talents. It's scary. It's scary to get up there and sing and play piano and do talk on the radio or do whatever it is. But I'm telling you, if God gave you a talent, you need to use that talent because that's a gift from God and you're denying the world from it. And I know there's a lot of people out there today, because I know some of them who are listening, who have unbelievable talents and are just not using them. And I just want to encourage you to use them and put all your fears away. Use your God-given talents and the world will love you and you'll love yourself for it. I-